guys, it's Liv. I'm just outside in my yard. So I'm just doing a video today on how to be vegan when you're eating out at restaurants. And I actually like asked for people's input and just like asked a few questions on my Instagram a little while ago. And so I'm just gonna go through the comments and like talk about some of the stuff. A lot of people just said Indian restaurants or Thai restaurants, so I think I'll start with those first. At Indian restaurants, they already have a lot of vegetarian options, so it is not hard at all for them to um, make things vegan. There's usually options for like, um, you can either get like a meat one, or you can get like a veggie one, or you can get paneer, which is... Um, like a cheese kind of thing or the Indian restaurants that I've been to they've been so accommodating with just like letting me know which ones had dairy and which ones didn't and they always pretty much always have it marked if it's a vegetarian or meat so you know you're safe there um, the other thing you should ask about at Indian restaurants is the non bread the Indian restaurant that I went to last time I went said that one of their cooks makes it with buttermilk and the other one doesn't so it just depends who's working that day so just make sure you ask like um, so you would get a vegetarian meal and then you would ask like does this have dairy in it or is it coconut milk and it's so easy like you just need to ask a couple questions it's not like most restaurants where you have to ask like a lot of things um, and they're pretty high carb at those places like they've always got lots of rice and non bread and potatoes and just lots of good stuff so it's really easy to get a high carb meal so for Thai restaurants I go to Thai restaurants a lot and I've learned sometimes the hard way what to ask about at Thai restaurants to make sure that it's vegan. At Thai restaurants, again, it's pretty easy because they have usually the meat options and then the vegetarian and tofu options. Um, but the things you need to watch out at Thai restaurants, the things you need to watch out for at Thai restaurants are um, fish sauce, shrimp paste, oyster sauce and eggs. In a lot of Thai food they use fish sauce as the base of their sauce. So for example in Pad Thai there's a lot of fish sauce in that. In a lot of their noodle dishes they'll actually put fried egg in them and they don't put it on the menu for some reason. I know that Pad Thai usually lists that there's egg in it but I've gotten a few noodle dishes before that actually came with egg in them and it didn't list that on the menu so I had to send it back and I was like you didn't specify this on the menu, so I always just ask now. One Thai restaurant I go to, they use oyster sauce in a lot of their things, and then in another restaurant I go to, they use fish sauce in a lot of their things, so I just make sure to ask, but at all the Thai restaurants I've been to so far, they have all been able to just make what I wanted without it. As long as it's not stuff that's already made up, like um, hot and sour soup, that's usually already made up and they can't make it without the egg and stuff, so um, they can't do those kind of things, but for the dishes that are made to order, they can almost always do it without the fish sauce or whatever. But again, at Thai restaurants, they use coconut milk a lot of the time instead of dairy, so you're pretty safe there. Um, and yeah, I just get like a pretty simple noodle dish and I ask no fish sauce, no egg, and I ask for the veggie and tofu option and it's awesome. So thank you, The Vegan Wonders, for suggesting that one. So. <laughs> Poop Like a Vegan says, maybe you could do a small part on food that one might assume is vegan at a restaurant but isn't. For example, most places use egg in falafel or might fry things such as potatoes in non-vegan oily substances. So that's a good one. The place where I get my Lebanese food, the owners actually is vegan or like their family member is vegan. So they have on their sign, they have like all the meals and on one of the meal things, it's the falafel plate. It has this big circle that says 100% vegan. So I know for a fact that those falafels are vegan, but since you poop like a vegan are telling us that there is usually egg in falafel in places that you go, then that is definitely one to look out for. A lot of times, I will say this, if you go to a place and they have veggie burgers, I always ask if there's egg in it because 9 times out of 10, if you're at a place that like isn't very vegan friendly but they do have a veggie burger, like 9 times out of 10 it does have eggs in it. Um, places that might fry things such as potatoes in non-vegan oily substances. So this is kind of a debate. There's some people who think like they don't eat fried things like french fries if they're fried in the same oil as meat and I've just kind of been operating under the assumption that most places that serve a lot of deep fried food usually have a separate one for fries and a separate one for meat and I think that's just due to like contamination reasons and the fact that meat has more bacteria than potatoes do 
but if there are smaller restaurants that you go to um, I would definitely ask if they have separate fryers or if it's the same fryer and if it is the same fryer that's just kind of something that you have to think about with yourself like if you're comfortable with that or if you're not if you're talking about frying things like vegetables and stuff in butter I would just always ask like if you go to a place and they say like oh yeah we can just do you up some vegetables and potatoes or whatever just make sure to tell them no butter again like butter is very expensive so a lot of times they just use like a cheap canola oil but um yeah I think that if you're getting you know potatoes or fries or something just ask about the deep fryer and if you are getting if the chef says like oh I'll make you a meal just make sure to let them know like that means no butter because a lot of times people just don't think about that when they think vegan because butter is just like they just think of it as bu butter they don't think of it as an animal product so, um, okay Emily Q Floyd says my husband's trick is to order a bunch of sides like beans potatoes vegetables etc these can be found at most US restaurants true that is a very good tip ordering sides is a really good idea because a lot of times you can just get like a baked potato um, with nothing on it or you can get like steamed vegetables or something like that so that is very good um, chains like red robin have boca boca and garden patties to replace beef um, Mexican restaurants are usually great lots of beans and veggies yes Mexican restaurants are great because you can literally just get like unlimited rice like I always just ask for extra rice because I'm not getting meat <laughs> and you can get like black beans and corn rice and that's like the basis of any meal you could ever need and then you just get like your salsa and none of that has um, animal products in it thing at Mexican restaurants that you just have to ask because um, one of the rice ones at the place I go is actually is cooked in chicken stock so um, just ask if it's cooked with any butter or chicken stock or like if it's just plain rice um, plantiful soul beautiful Claire says you should do a variety of different ethnic cuisines such as Asian Indian American Ethiopian so yeah I covered Asian Indian American yes <sighs> Eating at those good old like pub style restaurants, man, they're tough. There's a pretty like all American place that I can think of that's very meat and dairy heavy that I actually have eaten at before. It's called Boston Pizza and we have it here in Canada. I don't know if you have it in the States or whatever, but when I have had to go there to eat before, they have a veggie burger, which is actually vegan. I just order it without the mayo or I order plain pasta with just like plain marinara sauce and basically it's just like a tomato-y, onion -y kind of tomato sauce and <laughs> I just get that plain. They're always like, oh, do you want chicken on that? And I'm like, fuck no. So yeah, if you are at an American restaurant, you can usually get fries, a baked potato, lots of sides like um, Emily Floyd said, or you can get like pasta with just a plain tomato sauce. They're not going to be ideal probably. Just remember that it's only one meal and it's not like a huge deal if you don't get like the most epic meal ever. As long as you can find something to eat then you can always eat something later on. So American restaurants are probably the worst. Um, Ethiopian, I do not know anything about Ethiopian restaurants so I'm gonna have to like hand this one to the comments section because I have never eaten at an Ethiopian restaurant. The crazy chickpea. Um, she says I think the trick is to be open and tell the waiter straightforward what you want. Like, I'm vegan, so I don't eat eggs, dairy, and meat. Could you please customize X to my needs? I was so hesitant to do that at the beginning, but mostly they just want you to be happy with your food and are really helpful. When I eat out, I don't want to end up with a side salad, and in good restaurants, everything is made fresh anyways. I agree. You never know what your waiter or waitress is going to know, so just, you know, Make sure to tell them like I'm vegan and then if they do know what that is, they'll probably just come right out and say it. But if they don't, then just make sure to tell them like meat, dairy, eggs, fish and tell them butter because seriously, like a lot of people don't consider butter dairy. But yeah, all in all, like they just want you to be happy with your meal. And then Carly the vegan, this last one, says, yes, maybe at the end you could put in a part of how to feel comfortable asking if things are prepared in vegan oils and stuff as well. This whole video I've basically just been saying, like, just ask if this has whatever, but what do you do if you are too shy to ask? And this used to be me. I 
not that long ago actually I used to be way too shy to ask so many questions and I felt bad but in my experience like when I ask a lot of questions I just make sure to be like super gracious to the waiter and let them know that I really appreciate their help and really appreciate them going to find stuff out for me and uh, yeah I don't know most of the time they don't mind all I can say is that there's no like magic way to get more comfortable it just comes with practice I'm sure other people ask way more questions than you're going to or I'm sure they get lots of questions all the time anyways in order to get more comfortable you just gotta do it you just have to not feel embarrassed about it just practice getting comfortable with it and always be really gracious and chances are they're gonna be super nice to you because why wouldn't they be like you're not doing anything wrong you're just asking questions it definitely gets easier and I have faith in you that you can do it and yeah, I hope that was helpful. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Let me know any other comments or questions you have below and let's just start a conversation about asking questions at restaurants because it's like pretty much a part of every vegan's life. So I love you guys and I'll see you next time.